I do believe I will come out on top. Hi guys, welcome back to the channel with Arnold Classic 2021 Open Division updates. We are three weeks away from the second biggest bodybuilding show of the year. So starting with South Korean mass monster Lee Song Chul, who is stepping on Arnold Classic stage very first time. He's training in Flex Lewis gym, and in recent updates, he looks phenomenal. Recently, we have seen him competing in Tampa Pro at sixth place with extraordinary package and I strongly believe he can be a real threat to fellow athletes in the show if he comes in super hot condition. Steve Kukul has given an update of his physique at 290 pounds four weeks out to the show. Last year, he was at fourth place behind Rami, Dexter and William Bonek. This is his last chance to qualify for Olympia by winning Arnold Classic, which personally I do not see it happening this year. Last year in Arnold Classic, Sergio Oliva Jr. brought tremendous package with led him taking 5th place. Now he's returning to the stage and his improvements will be shockingly very impressive as liner by Yiki is unpredictable so I would like to see Sergio mix in the top 5 again. 41 years old liner by Yiki is finally competing this year in Arnold Classic. Although he is inconsistent but I think he still has potential at the age of 41. And in my personal opinion he can win the show if he brings dry hard condition because he has much better structure compared to William, Rowley and also Kim Williams but yes he is not consistent. Another 41 years old but very consistent bodybuilder Max Charles is coming to compete in his 5th consecutive Arnold Classic Columbus, Ohio and in a recent update he says best real adult in the business probably best of all time if I am wrong let me know who I am seriously curious to know let me know in the comment. He further said from the moment I started lifting weight I became obsessed with building real adult. It's something about it that was appealing to me. And in the reply, legendary bodybuilder 75 years young Robbie Robinson said, Honestly, it looks oil industry, not real. <laughs> Bodybuilders today seems to be dying like flies. None of it makes sense to me, but to each his own. Big is not always better. Much success to all. Justin Rodriguez by far has given a glimpse of his progress for the Arnold Classic as well as for the Olympia. Indy Pro Champ is giving his absolute 100% to make a big impact in Columbus, Ohio in 3 weeks. But we have rising star Nick Walker who already defeated Justin in New York Pro this year. And he has clear goal to win both shows Arnold Classic also Olympia. I mean, that's, that's where my mind is. That's, that's exactly where my mind is. Personally, I think he will undeniably perform well in both shows and it's going to be very fascinating to see the final outcome. Ian knows I'm going to come out on top too though. <laughs> One of the strongest contenders in the lineup, Ian Valier, has shared a physique update. He recently has beaten Steve Coppolo in Texas Pro who was at 4th place in 2020 Arnold Classic. So Ian has higher chances being top 5 in the event. He's very close to the contest and it's very amazing seeing him lifting that much heavy weights. Anyone is beatable on any given day. Rolly the Beast Winkler is the oldest contender in the lineup and I think after his performance in Arnold Classic, it will be clear how much we can expect from Rolly in Mr. Olympia after 2 weeks Arnold Classic. Akeem Williams has given a preview of his condition and his bicep is looking extremely shredded and humongous. Especially look at the crazy striation on his biceps. It's just astonishing. It's a result of years and years of hardcore training. Anyone is beatable. <laughs> <coughs> Shit. 
on any given day. William Bonig is coming very strong for his third trophy of Arnold Classic Columbus, Ohio and overall fourth as he won 29th in Arnold Classic Australia. I personally think Akeem, Roly, Sergio and Nick will definitely challenge him in this show but William has much higher chances for winning again as he already beat all these athletes before except Nick Walker. Unfortunately, Muhammad Ali Imam could not qualify for Olympia this year even after competing back to back in five shows. But his making debut in Arnold Classic and cracking top five will surely help him for next Olympia qualification. And lastly, Hassan Mustafa from Egypt is going to attend his sixth show of the year. I hope he performs well, but I do not see him cracking top five because of his inconsistency in conditioning department. Thanks for watching and keep spotting. But it ain't about how hard you hit. It's about how hard you can get hit and keep moving forward. How much you can take and keep moving forward. That's how winning is done.